Okay, so I have a Sony digital audio tape, a DAT, a Walkman, TCD D8. Well, the main problem is it won't play a tape. You hit play, it looks like it's playing, then it just stops. So probably not gonna film the whole thing just because this thing is so small, but I'll try to give you some highlights of what is going on with this thing. Well, kind of looks like a VCR, doesn't it? Look at that head back there. This is a two head model. There's one of the heads right there. There's the other head right there. Where are the grooves in the cylinder? It just doesn't make sense. It actually has a helical scan system that records on a one eighth inch piece of tape, much like an audio tape, just a regular compact cassette. There's the pinch roller. There's the capstan shaft back there. Some guide rollers. Mind you, this is in the macro zoom mode. That's why it's kind of grainy. Here's the tape that goes in it. This is an HP digital data storage tape, but it can record audio. Let's get it open, see what's inside. So I have to pull those two little notches back and then it locks up. There's the tape that's in it. Just like a compact cassette. So there's a comparison between a regular audio tape and the DAT tape. Although look at the color of the DAT. Much, much deeper black, which means a much higher particle density, which is what you need when you're trying to record digital audio on a 1 8 inch piece of tape. Let's go ahead and pop a tape into it. We'll close the door. Now I don't have the actual door on the unit. It's laying loose back here. So there's the actual door here. So I have to trick it into thinking the door is closed. And I think it turned off due to lack of activity. I have to hold the tape down. Okay, so it did find its table of contents. So we'll hit play. You can see it shows audio on the bar graph and the counter is counting. But take a look at this when it plays. The tape is playing, but it's stalling and it seems to correspond with the rotation of the capstan motor. So I think the capstan motor is scraping against the coils. So I'm gonna pull the capstan motor out I'm going to give it a couple taps with the love hammer and hopefully I can drive the capstan motor shaft out. Probably a tenth of a millimeter is about all I need. So I did some measurements with the micrometer and I determined that the capstan motor shaft is currently about 17.6 millimeters in length. I want to get that to about 17.7 or 17.8 millimeters. So let's see if I can take care of that task. So here's a close up view of the mechanism. So I actually had to drive the capstan shaft down in here about one tenth of a millimeter farther. And so the capstan motor actually loads the tape. Just like that. I'll reverse it. So this is unloading. So let's flip it over and I'll show you the other side as it loads. So here is the loading process. 
just like a regular VHS tape. There it's loaded. See loading arms are wrapped around the cylinder. So let's unload it. I'll reassemble the thing, put a tape in it and see if it plays. So there's the main board in the unit. Here's the other side of the main board. There it is, it's playing. I wonder if it has audio. Well, let's hook some speakers up to it and see what happens. Okay, well there it is, the beginning of the track. So according to this, it's The Who at Madison Square Garden, New York City, 718 of 96. But there it is, playing perfectly. Just got to get it back together now. I got to hold the tape down because I don't have the door on it. If I, if I release it, it binds. But let's get it put back together. We'll do a final checkout. So let's eject the tape. Now I can lift it up, take the tape out. All right, tape out. Let's put the tape back in. Close the door. Hit play. There it is playing. The Sony DAT digital audio tape, TCD-D8. Repaired once again. Saved from the recycle bin.
but what a beautiful little thing. CD audio quality, 48 kilohertz sampling. There's the remote digital I.O. Nothing on the back, except the DC input, six volts. So it does give you the option down here of automatic volume leveling. It must know I have it in line out. There we go, it switched over to AVLS. So that's it. Max. And then line out. Interesting, it doesn't, maybe the switch is dirty. I have to put it in line out first. Oh yeah, now it knows it's in line out. And until I remove the jack, does it not know it's in a different mode? Now it's an automatic volume limiting. So it has like an automatic level control going on here. So I'll put it in line out, remove it, put it back in. Now it knows it's in line out. But anyhow, what a cool little unit. Digital audio tape. But that's like, I'm sorry I didn't show you the whole thing of the TCD D8 repair. It's just, it's a little too, too compact to actually film all of it. The repair of the capstan motor and like clamping it in the vise and trying to drive it down about one tenth of one millimeter. Because what was going on is the capstan motor was scraping on the coils. And so instead of getting a new motor, I just drove the shaft out about one tenth of a millimeter and that took care of it. But anyhow, some of the reassembly you got to see at least. I certainly hope you enjoyed the video on the repair or partial repair on the Sony TCD D8 DAT digital audio tape Walkman. This thing is so cool. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below. I try to read all the comments and respond when I have time. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everybody, thank you for watching this little video, although I didn't show you all of it. Really sorry about that. But anyhow, you got the gist of it. The repair on the Sony TCD D8. Thank you for making it to the end. I really appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Once again, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.